The next class that we're going to talk about is the Monk. The Monk has been introduced in the Mist of Pandaria expansion as well as the Pandaren, and is available to every race in the game. And now, some of the reasons for this for every race but the Pandaren themselves is super easy to explain. When when Asa and G joined the Horde, or the Alliance and the Horde respectively, um, basically they ended up teaching the races of those two factions how to be monks. You will never see a orc monk trainer, it's always a Pandaren monk trainer in the starting zones. They basically spread out, went to the starting zones, and helped build up the monk culture, if you will, and taught their new allies the ways of the monk. Now Pandaren have a slightly better lore reason on why they should be monks, and that is because they have been slaves. They were slaves to the Mogu races for a very long time without ever having weapons supplied to them or anything, but yet they broke out of the tyranny of the Mogu and uh, the Sar Sarok after they have the Sarok had turned on the Mogu, and they used that as a thing. They had adapted themselves to learning how to fight with their fist, how to harness the goodness and the balance that is inside of themselves and their chi. The energy that is, goes through every single person, every single thing, they learned how to harness it and basically make their fist explode with that energy. It's a very easy, very cool reason why the Pandaren are monks. They fought against tyranny. That's, that's awesome. That's so cool. Now, obviously, because of that, some of the best... Uh, some of the best races to actually be monks would be the Pandaren themselves, although any race could technically be it. Their backstory would just have to be that they were trained by the Pandaren. And Pandaren, of course, would be the, 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 the supreme, if you will, lore race for monks. But let's talk about the game guide itself and what it has, what it says about the monks. Without further ado, let's get into it. It is as follows. When the Pandaren were subjugated by the Mogu centuries ago, it was the monks that brought hope to a seemingly dim future. Restricted from using weapons by their slave masters, these Pandaren instead focused on harnessing their chi and learning weaponless combat. When the opportunity for revolution struck, they were well trained to throw off the yokes of oppression. Masters of bare-handed combat, <laughs> get it, bear? Monks never rely solely on the need to have a weapon in their hands to defend against their enemies. Although most widely known to the outside world for their fearsome jabs and flying kicks, they refuse to limit themselves to a single method of combat. Many monks prefer instead to soak it up, and seem to revel in the, in the intoxicating effect of absorbing blow after blow while their companions press the attack. Other monks specialize in calling upon the restorative powers of the mist to balance the good and bad energy within people, returning them to health and good fortune. 